We're trying to understand how different geographical features affect the different compositions of wine. For example, how does the climate in the Annapolis Valley affect the different acids in the wine compared to wines in Australia? It's going to be harvested probably in early October. Wine has so many different acids and components to it, and I'm looking at 10 different organic acids. And we're looking at it through HPLC, which is High Performance Liquid Chromatography. Here in Nova Scotia, the, the acidity levels um, are kind of one of those things that we, we have naturally, and it makes our wines so unique. So I think from a Nova Scotia perspective, that is um, something that will set us apart. Acids are a very important component of wine. Uh, they affect the flavor of the wine, the taste, the smell. You always talk about the, the bright acidity and the beautiful um, aromatics, for example, that, that pair with the acidity. And it helps um, the whites, for example, go really well with their seafood and their shellfish. But on the red side, I think a lot of people forget about how important acidity is in um, in balancing your red wine and also making it food friendly. And that's uh, one of the things in Nova Scotia that we, we comment on is that our reds are extremely food friendly. It's amazing how my research is, is important to the industry and how the industry is important to my research. Research has helped me with a lot of hands-on experience that I know I can take back to the lab in September. We have small class sizes, about 12 people, and it's great to have an actual professor who does research teaching such small class sizes and to be able to work with him this summer. It's amazing to be working on wine uh, on a chemical level and then to come to a winery such as Gaspro Vineyards and see the actual winemaking process.